a new little family member what? and it's super super exciting really yes it is it's super exciting it and is what's going on with your hail ah! it's all better now <laughs> <laughs> so his name is zeus and he is so handsome he still has his chain on which i'll take off right now. <laughs> oops oops Not your chain. <laughs> it's a little loose on him because he's gonna grow into it, but it's very cute on him. So this is Zeus and we are going to tell you guys about how um, We got him and what he's there's Dakota in the background. She's a little Jones. She's like, hey, what about me? Attention whore. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna tell you guys how we came across him what he's gonna do um, Is he a pet dog? Is he gonna be working? We're gonna tell you guys everything. everything. So to start off um, Zeus is Nolan's dog He is his and we're gonna tell you the little like, story of him so far. We were actually looking um, at dogs and shelters for my friend Shelby because she wanted to find a dog that needed a home um, that could be eligible for service work and she ended up getting a rehome case and that is her Husky um, service dog and training Maisley, which you guys have seen in my last so video. Beautiful. Super, super pretty dog. But instead of finding a dog for Shelby there, we found a dog for Nolan there. Um, but originally, it was your dog, right? Originally, he was going to be my dog because <laughs> I didn't really think... Well, we didn't really think about the whole prospect thing for Nolan because Nolan um, was thinking about getting a dog from a breeder down the line or maybe even a program dog down the line because he's a diabetic and he doesn't really know how to train that. But when I brought Zeus home and figured out his temperament um, really well, I said, you know what, like, we kind of like discussed it and as long as he starts learning scent work and he learns how to do tasks for Nolan, he could be a good candidate. So, Zeus is going to be a diabetic alert dog for Nolan. If yes. everything works out, there's always the chance that with puppies, even with Max, there's always the chance that it may not work out or that they may flunk out. Um, so if that happens, then Nolan will then get another dog and um, we'll train that dog. Obviously, we'll keep this though because like he's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> so cute. Okay, come on, buddy. So he's gonna come chill up here. Um, so like, how many times did you see him at the pound? So we went all the way. I live closer to Tampa. I actually live a little bit north of Tampa. Um, and we drove three hours. Three. Three, three hours there, three hours back three hours. to go to Orlando to see Zeus. So when we first got there, we were actually looking for a German Shepherd puppy. There's a German Shepherd puppy that was there and Shelby was kind of like thinking about it and was like, hey, like maybe I'll go for this German Shepherd puppy if everything checks out. And the German Shepherd puppy had already been adopted and the lady had mentioned to us, oh, well, like, I don't know if there's a German Shepherd puppy any here anymore, but we do have a Rottweiler puppy. So we ended up going to the building across the street, but then I said, you know what, hey, like, let's go back. I really want to check out this Rottweiler puppy. Um, so I was thinking this puppy was going to be like a year old and they're calling it a puppy and they want to get it adopted and yada, yada, yada. But then I came across little Zeus here. Mm -hmm. um, and what were your first impressions of him? I thought that he was the cutest thing. So originally when... Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Zeus, come here. Originally. Come here, buddy. Come here, bud. Come Where here. Come here. Come <laughs> here. <laughs> okay, then, Dakota. She's like, pat me. He's so cute. Like, hey. She's like, hey. Hey, you don't some attention. You gonna play with little Zeus? Yes, this video's not about you. You know. None of that. 
He said, what do you do? <laughs> so when we went to go see him, he was actually hidden in the kennel behind. So he was kind of like sitting behind the wall. So we had to like coax him out and he was friendly, but at first he was a little shy. He was kind of like, I don't really know why I'm here. Yeah. Um, and so we ha I have videos and stuff, which I'll play. But he was a little shy at first, but then he warmed up really, really quick. And he was just this playful little nippy puppy and he was just so cute. And I fell in love with him. Huh? Hello, welcome to back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be going to multiple dog shelters and looking at puppies. We're not going to tell you why, but we're doing that. We're going to go to like a shit ton. It'd be like it's, that. It's the game. It's the game. People are about to be like, uh, why? They're going to be like, ooh, you're trying to get another dog? No. We're just We're just going to go look. For no, absolutely no reason. We love we're dogs. not going <laughs> to tell you the reason. Um, so don't ask. But we're looking at puppies, so we just arrived at once. We're gonna go inside and we're gonna show you guys the cutest dogs, like, ever. So, it'd be like that. I, really I already hear them. I'm <laughs> scared. I already know we're here. <laughs> I'm already upset! <laughs> I just like start pulling out like pronging me colors. Everyone, suit up! <laughs> So we're excited. <laughs> So we're gonna go see him again, but I put a hold on him yesterday and Of course our system is down and I also don't get paid until tomorrow. So I'm sorry. It's dark deal with deal with it <laughs> Okay, so She's gonna go get the puppy and put him in the playroom which they wouldn't do yesterday But I'm so excited to just see him again and uh, thankfully they're gonna keep him on hold again tomorrow Hopefully all right first off Fuck AdSense. AdSense fucked it up. Didn't get paid today on time, which I'm supposed to. And it's like, you have one job. You have one job. So at least we get to actually play with them, which is a good thing. And they're gonna keep them on hold tomorrow until 1 p.m. They open at 12, so like, <sighs> it's, it's scary, but it's exciting at the same time. And <laughs> just, I hope it all works out. I even wore my freaking Rottweiler shirt. That's how excited I am. I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> 
no one's excited. It's the first time he gets to meet him. Yeah. Um, so I haven't decided on a name, but um, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with Kane, but I'm not sure. So that's, yeah, that's, yeah. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hello, you remember me? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> He's so super cute and that's probably the main reason why he caught my attention um so we because he's from a shelter we don't really know if he is mixed with anything but rottweilers can have blue eyes um they they can it's just a genetic mutation um so i honestly think that he is a purebred rottweiler or he's as close to a purebred rottweiler as you can get he's so cute so I don't really think he's a mutt. I think that he could be purebred. I just really don't know. So if you guys want to see us give him a DNA test in future in a future video, I would be so down down for that because I'm really really curious to know whether he is a purebred Rottweiler with a genetic mutation or if he's a mixed if he's mixed and what he's mixed with. So if you guys want to see I that mean, video, like either way, he still has a very good temperament. And, like, yeah, he's already learned a lot. So either far. way, it really doesn't matter. Um, he has an amazing temperament, and he's such a good boy. And now that this video is released, I will be posting a Hold ton. On. I'm sorry, just... That is very, very cute. <laughs> he's just laying on her. She's like, okay. Dakota, if you guys didn't already know, Dakota is very, very good with puppies. Sorry, I turned it off by accident. If you didn't already know, Dakota's very, very good with puppies. When she got introduced to Storm, she was just so gentle and I just love it. Go ahead, sorry, what were you saying? Right, like I was saying before I was kindly interrupted, not rudely, but kindly because, you know, she loves me. But well, maybe, I don't know. Just, I'm just kidding, she loves me, I know it. <laughs> but um, I will be posting a bunch of photos of me and Zeus and of just Zeus. And I will be posting training videos of what I've taught him so far and me and Lexi have taught him. Lexi has been teaching me along the way, so whenever I do something wrong, she'll tell me that I did it wrong and I'll correct it. Basically, she corrects me to correct the dog. <laughs> Basically. So, the so, just to kind of um, explain something, it is his dog. I will be featuring obviously both of them on my channel, but 
Zeus is not my service dog. He's not my service dog in training. Um, so you won't see a lot of training videos with him um, on this channel. You'll see kind of like the day in the life, kind of just see him in the background and because he still is, you know, here and I'm enjoying him. So he's still part of the family, but I'm yeah. not, he's not my dog. So I won't be posting a lot of him. This is just to kind of say like, hey, you guys should go if you guys are interested and go check him out. So Nolan has his own channel and he has his yes. own Instagram, which if you're not following already, go ahead and follow him. He po he will, he he is going to be posting a ton of updates, pictures, and cute little um, things to know on his pages and every once in a while I'll do the same so if you want to go and follow them their username is right here it's just diabetic k9 um, and that's on both YouTube Perfect. and Instagram and TikTok and TikTok you can follow them on TikTok so go ahead and do that right now so you can keep up with everything and Nolan will be posting his own video about Zeus which can be found in the description down below go ahead and click the link right now getting on with the story um so talk about the car right home Wait, Zeus. <laughs> so when we brought Zeus home, what happened, Nolan? The puppy puked everywhere. Puked. And that's already like over half of it cleaned up. That's half of it gone. Half of it's gone. Poor little and we guy. Were this for a hot second. You okay, honey? That's only a little bit of it. <laughs> you got on the seat too. It couldn't even even been on the floor, oh dude. God. Like I would have been way better if it was on the floor say. at least. She's just like what? <laughs> He's like what did I do? I I didn't. Even He's scooping it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Perfect day to not put your seat cover down. Yeah, I probably really should have. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, it's the, on the, the bag oh down there my too. Gosh, that's so the one, <laughs> the one time, the one time I'm not using my seat cover because he's usually always on my fucking seat. The one time, the one time. Good job, bud. You. Uh, what did I do? It's just a what did I do? Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, at least it's honestly, it's better than shit. Okay, I'm sorry, but it is. It is better. At least it's not, like that. That's cleanable. It definitely is. Wait, wait. wait. Oh, that bag had napkins in it. He used them. Yeah, yeah he used them. Is that all of our napkins? Is there anything like to cover the seat? Oh, oh wait, yeah. I got tissues. Oh, I got tissues. I got them too. <laughs> oh, here you are. The life of owning a dog. <laughs> and I oop it. Just. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Eat that bitch empty. Like, is don't it mix it. Just don't put on, just put it on the floor. Honestly, is your car seat covered? Like you can't back. Put what on the floor? What'd you say? Is your car seat thing in the trunk? Yeah, the seat cover. Yeah. It Should is. we like put it down so he doesn't have to sit on dog vomit? Yeah, and so that if he does it again. Yeah. yeah. Mm. At least it wasn't horrible. At least it wasn't like like liquid vomit. It was just like whenever my dogs puke, they literally just like it's liquid. Right, so what are we doing? Like, no one's okay, hold on. They I don't know how you. big it was. <laughs> it took up the Jesus whole fucking Christ. seat. Like his stomach must have been fucking full. No wonder he looked fat. Yeah. Uh, first off, we didn't have a name for the longest time. We they couldn't... named they named him Bruno at the shelter. Yeah. We were just not vibing with it. No. Yeah, um, I had several different names in mind. I liked Roman. I liked King. I liked Kane. I liked a lot of different things. So here's the thing with the name issue, okay? I think, my personal opinion, you should name him Name. And here's why. Because... I should <laughs> name him what? Name. <laughs> because if somebody comes up to me and is like, oh, what's his name? You go, name? And he'll, they'll be like, yeah, what's his name? Name. Yeah, <laughs> what is his name? No, but then... Who name! <laughs> I think that's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> what if that distracts him, though? What? What do you mean? Like they're just like name, 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 and then like he's just like, well, what do you, what do you want? Yeah, he's gonna sit there like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be, it'll be, it would be funny. It would be funny. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's all good. <laughs> but um, ultimately, we decided to go with Zeus because it just like went along perfect, yeah, and it just kind of fits him. She said Zeus, and I was like, I'm all for it. His eye kind of fits the situation too, like a little lightning bolt, like blue lightning. Kinda, yeah. Yeah, you, you, we didn't think about that until now, like it just popped in my head. But you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. the blue eye, lightning, yeah. you know, Zeus. 
so it just kind of <laughs> fits him so um yeah but on that when we brought him home so, um it was originally gonna be your dog yeah he was originally just gonna be my pet dog until we found out that he had the perfect temperament and he also bonded with him sorry <laughs> he was supposed to be my dog so it's been my dream to have a rottweiler and they're lying together, back to back, cuddling. Guys, I have to show you a Oh my god. Look at them. They're so cute. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt, but that was just adorable. Oh yeah, so who's going to be my pet dog? It's been my dream to have a Rottweiler. I always love them. Thank you, because I needed something out of it. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a little Rottweiler puppy that we got. <laughs> he doesn't have a name yet, but he has, he has a blue, he has, he's my dog. He has blue eyes. Another one? What the heck? I have never seen a Rottweiler with blue eye in my life, and he has one. He's like rare, so. Wow. But they can't have blue eyes. <laughs> Oh, so I was that's, the re that's the real reason why I was so stressed was because I came this close to not getting it. Well, here's the story. Here, okay, wait, 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 wait. Here's the story. Here's the story. I'll like say it really calmly because I'm I'm having anxiety. But anyway, so we went to a bunch of shelters actually to look for her dog, right? To look for Shelby's dog. And then what happened was was we ran into this puppy. And it was literally, I'm not even exaggerating, it was love at first sight. Lexi fell in love with this puppy. Mom. She's always loved Rottweilers. Even I knew that. <laughs> even I knew that. She's loved Rottweilers. And she fell in love with this puppy. So that's why we kept going back to Orlando. This is the thing. We put him on hold. We got back to Orlando yesterday. And Lexi didn't have her money yet. So she couldn't pay that's for it. That's why I was so panicked and like fainting. And then we, we literally left straight this morning. We got there before the uh, shelter yeah. and, even opened to get and him. And here's the thing. She wasn't even going to go. But something was like, okay, like you, like okay, something in my heart was like, you need this yeah. puppy. Yeah, and I'm yeah. And I was like, that's, that's odd. And like, Maddie got and her Lexi, money. Lexi didn't even have, like, I checked, I kept checking my bank account. All of a sudden, my money went through, but Lexi's didn't. So I said, Lexi, yeah. I know you really love this puppy. Like, I've never yeah. seen her freaking, like, ambitions be so thing, high with right? this puppy. So I took her to the shelter, and I paid for the puppy myself. And then which, I paid her back. Yeah, because yeah, her, her, her money finally did go through after, and like, I later on like, in the day. I was like, if we're going to do this, we need this right now. I was like, this is our She our was, like, waiting us up, like, come on, yeah, Lexi, you're Because good. I would not even get out of bed. Yeah. I woke and, up, checked my phone, money still isn't there, so I'm not getting out of bed. Yeah, she slammed her phone down and then, like, flipped over. Because, like, she was in love, like, literally in love. And I was like, this dog means I everything to right you. Now. I know. <laughs> She's gonna do the same face. <laughs> oh, it's okay. We'll forever be a thing. As we were sitting down adopting him, as we were sitting down adopting him, this couple walked and said, "Hey." Um, the door is still open. Yesterday, the door still um, open. <laughs> he said it was on hold, and if it wasn't, no one picked it up that night. Oh, that it's still morning, you. and he said that it was still available. I know um, he is absolutely attached with her. It's and so adorable. Like, oh, he's being adopted right now, as we were sitting down with the paperwork. Because I said we have to go now, or we're he's, not going to make it. Like someone's going to get him. And no. Since, like, we left. no, we he's did. We did get there. Me. No, we did get there. Alyssa, we got there. Literally not even five minutes. A couple, a couples came. A couple came in. And was like, we're looking for Bruno. And that was his name at the shelter. Oh, yeah. We walked yeah. in and we said, we're here for the puppy. And she said, okay, let's start doing the paperwork. Not even two minutes after we walked in, they came in. And they're like, can we help you? And we're like, yeah, we saw the puppy. We came to see the puppy yesterday who was on hold. And they said, if the person didn't come get him, that he's going to go back up for adoption. So we're here to get him. And they said, nope, they're doing the adoption process right now. And they're like, oh, oh my God. Oh, I, just had a, I just had a heart attack. <laughs> oh, we got another surprise, too. That's not the only one. <laughs> got an orange husky too. <laughs> what? There's an orange husky and I have a Rottweiler. With a blue eye. Look, there's an eyeball. Come here. He doesn't have a name though. Have you ever seen a blue Rottweiler? No. I can't do that. 
but when I saw Zeus, I immediately fell in love, and everybody was telling me, like, Maddie was there, and Shelby were there, and they were telling me, like, this is definitely your dog. Like, I don't know what it is, but this dog belongs with you. Like, we can't put our finger on it. There's just something about the two of you together that is just... There's just something in the world that's like pushing you guys together. He kept going over to Nolan the entire time. I'm sorry, like she was like, do not bond with my puppy. Do not bond with him. And I was like, okay, I won't do nothing. I'm sitting here minding my business, because, looking out the window. Okay, when you bring a puppy home, like the first person they sit with and they they smell and they, that feeds them and is cuddling them, that is like their person. But I was doing all that with Zeus, and Zeus was like, uh-uh, I want to see him. Yeah, I was just like minding my business, looking out the window. I was like, every now and then I'd make sure like, I'd pick him up and put him back on Lexi. Yeah, he just then... kept wanting to cuddle with him, and I was like, you know what, I give up. And uh, moving further along, they he just kept going to Nolan, kept going to Nolan. And so he basically chose Nolan as his owner, which I'm not upset about. I... And think I that they're a great pair together, so I wasn't really like hurt by it. I was just like, ah, okay, well, you choose who you choose, I guess. And I haven't, I haven't had a dog before, so the fact that he bonded with me was like mm -hmm. really, like almost sentimental for me. I don't want to say like, yeah, is that weird to say? No, that's not weird. But it was like really like heartwarming for me because I never had a dog. And for this puppy to be bonding with me, I'm like, oh my god, my like heart is melting. No. And it's like very like loving. That makes him so happy. Now, um, he has a very good temperament. He's at a good age to start, which we've already started. He is like what almost five months now, probably. Four and it's almost a half. September, so he's like four and a half months old. On the twenty first, um, he'll be five months old. Okay, so on the so he doesn't have like a set birthday, but we know like around the time he was born. Yeah. So um. We're pretty sure that he's gonna, what, what did you say, five months old, the, the 21st? Yeah. So he's gonna turn five months on the 21st, that's kind of like the birthday we gave him. We know that he was kind of born around that time, but we don't know like the day or any yeah. of that. So, um, so we have had him for a couple months now, actually. Yeah. We've had him since what, July? Yeah. It's We've been a while. Since July. Yeah, it's been a while. It has been a while. We've had him. We've been keeping him a secret, and then we decided, you know, a couple weeks ago to kind of announce it a little bit and kind of get you guys excited. Yeah. So, yeah, and Zeus has been, Zeus has all of his shots. He's all, like, good to go on that. He has been in public. Um, he has been training, and so that is Nolan's job. Yes. I give Nolan some pointers all the time, yeah. um, and I kind of help him out. But for the most part, Nolan does it mainly himself. He, um... Zeus has a very good heel so far, and he is learning deep pressure therapy right now because that's something that you're going to use in the future. Yes, can I explain that a little yeah. bit? Mm -hmm. All right, so with my diabetes, there obviously are symptoms, mm -hmm. and some of the symptoms involve confusion, shaking, weakness. So basically, when my blood sugar gets high, I'm confused, I'm very weak. And then it's the same with my low blood sugars, but with my low blood sugars, I shake also. It's like my hands will shake, my chest will shake, my, my legs will shake. But um, overall, it's just mainly the confusion factor. Cause like sometimes when like I'm up and walking also, when I sit down and I stand up, my vision gets black for like almost a minute. Basically, I don't know how to explain that. Do you think you can explain it's that a, a ground, bit It's a grounding technique. So when you are kind of like, I get disoriented really easily. Um, it kind of just gives you a second to like kind of come to your senses and then you can get back up. Yeah, um, another thing is that, that I've noticed especially is um, if his adrenaline goes up or if he's low, he will like shake. And so having a dog that can help you stop shaking, especially when you're out and about and that happens. Um... That's awesome. He's also gonna be doing like high and low blood sugar alerts. Um, so we're gonna be sent training him for that. Yeah. So how we're gonna go about that is just basically the Q-tip method or the cotton ball method where mm -hmm. I saliva swab, freeze it, and then sent, and then have him tax in some way. For my low blood sugars, he would give me kisses, which is sugar, like he would give me sugar, you know, kisses, you know. He, he has his own little thing in his yeah. head where he And then like, so when my blood sugar is high, he would paw at me mm -hmm. to take away the blood sugar. You know what I mean? Like, it, it makes sense in my head. It made me... It, he has it the way he wants it. It may make sense so, in my head. <laughs> <laughs> so he likes that. Um, 
Also, if you guys have any, if you guys have owner trained diabetic alert dogs, comment down below any tips you have for Nolan. Um, anything that can help with scent training, task training, any of that. He needs all that so he can go and read the comments. Yes. So go ahead and comment down any advice you have or you can DM him um, any advice that you have. He he would like it. And I really am not that big on diabetic alert dogs. I don't know a lot of the stuff about that. So that would definitely help him out for stuff yeah. that I can't help him out with. Um, so yeah, that has been this video and I'm really glad that you guys are all excited to see Zeus. I'm, I hope you guys um, like him a lot as much as we like him. He is super, super cute. I'm in love. And so for those of you that guessed Rottweiler or Bully Breed, you were correct because that is what he is. Hold on, I'm going to grab my phone. For what? Because the first person who guessed is going to be shouted out on my story. Oh. I have the screenshot of who guessed first. So you're gonna shout him out on here too? Yeah. Okay. The person who guessed right first mm -hmm. is Dependable Cloud. So All in one they minute. guessed it. They were the first ones to guess that yes. he was a Rottweiler. Um, so yeah. That has been this video. If you guys enjoyed, if you guys want to keep tabs on Nolan um, and Zeus here, you can go over to his channel, go watch his videos. Go on his Instagram and go watch his, um, go look at his stuff. Um, that has been it. If you guys liked, That's give it a big awesome. thumbs up. If you are not already, hit the subscribe button down below because subscribe. the Sam Squad is growing and growing every single day. Um, and yeah, that's all for today's video. Yes. Bye. Bye.